Hi everybody, it's Louis Aguera here, your soulful digital nomad. I am in Puerto Escondido. It's a decent place to be a digital nomad. Internet is, um, is okay, not really great for a video call. So I told all my clients to call me to do the uh, video call uh, next week when I am back in, um, in Mexico City. And in this video, I want to share my experience being in some of the worst places to be a digital nomad. The first place was uh, Koh Phi Phi Island. This is in Thailand. It's really a tiny, tiny place. It's really beautiful, nice, but it's really not a place to get some work done. Uh, I've been there and one of the issues was the internet speed. It took me about six hours to upload a video to YouTube. I remember it was such a long night. I started at about 10 p.m. and then it get, went on and on and on until most of the night. Internet speed, was, internet speed was really bad. Another thing that is, that is really bad when you're in such a place is that it's not really convenient if you need, I don't know, uh, an SD card or some type of um, item that you need. You don't have anything. You need to take the ferry to the main, uh, main island or some uh, or the, the mainland. And then, then you can buy your stuff and then come back. It's really not too convenient. So that was, it was really difficult to, to get work done in Copy P. And then you have all those... Uh, those mosquito and then the, the weather was so hot and you are often distracted there also it's such a holiday place i remember i met uh, this woman from uh, i think she was from la and then i spent time with her it's really copy is really not a place to get work done i can i can assure you that it looked great on the picture but to get work done that's not the place Another terrible place I've been uh, um, a digital nomad was in a high altitude village in Switzerland. It's really beautiful. On the picture, everything is beautiful. Small tropical island look great. Small village on top of mountain looks great. But when you are there, the problem is that you are so isolated, so alone. You have to cope with the loneliness. What I did when I was there, I did a lot of long walk in the wood, in the mountain. It was really nice to have my deep thinking. And I remember I had this audio book, Deep Work by Carl Newport. So I could do that, I could do the deep work. That was an interesting experience. I stayed there two months, but I believe I will not do that again, at least not in the, in the near future. Being there, um, yeah, you work all day on the computer, then you go walk in the forest, then you're alone all the time. So it was really a unique experience, but okay, do it just once, but I will not recommend to, that you do that. Uh, it, it was not a great place to be a digital nomad for me. If you've been in, in such a place, please share your experience. I want to read about it. Another type of place that I don't like to be a digital nomad is places that are expensive, like uh, Stockholm, Sweden, London, UK. Those places are so expensive that even if you afford to go there, to stay there one or two months, when you go to the next place, uh, perhaps you will have less money because you, you, because you spent so much in the expensive place that your budget, there is a all in your budget. As a digital nomad, I always recommend to check your spending, to really carefully plan this. Personally, I always plan my spending. I really, I, I am really into budgeting and I, you should really do, do, do that. So I do not recommend the expensive place. So staying in expensive place is something I do not recommend. So that's the three type so that was the three type of place I will avoid as a, as a digital nomad. Let me know your experience. I really want to hear about it. I hope uh, there is music there playing in the background. I hope it will not create an issue with the copyright. I think probably it will, but we never know. Ciao, ciao.